Do you want to know how to separate the DAB staining form, the hematoxylin one using image A? You came to the right place. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of color deconvolution using ImageAge, a powerful tool for image analysis. Specifically, we'll be exploring how to analyze DAB stained immunohistochemistry slides. So, let's dive right in. Here we are in Image A. First things first, let's load our DAB stained immunohistochemistry slide into the software. As you can see, the image appears in full color, which can make it challenging to isolate the DAB staining from the background and other components. To overcome this challenge, we'll be using a technique called color deconvolution. It allows us to separate the different stains present in the image based on their color properties. In our case, we're interested in isolating the DAB staining, which typically appears brown. Now, let's navigate to the image menu and select color, followed by color deconvolution. Once the menu opens, choose the HDAB option in the drop-down menu. This vector helps the software understand the color properties of DAB and effectively separate it from the rest of the image. Once we've selected the DAB vector, we simply click on Apply and watch as Image E performs the color deconvolution magic. This results in three images, one in green that you can get rid of, the one with DAB staining and the one with hematoxylin staining. With the DAB staining isolated, we can now perform various analyses, such as quantifying staining intensity, measuring area coverage, or conducting further image processing techniques. The same can also be done to the hematoxylin one, if you wish to quantify the number of DAB stained nucleus versus the total nucleus count. And there you have it. By utilizing color deconvolution in image A, we've successfully analyzed a DAB stained immunohistochemistry slide, unlocking valuable insights into the distribution and intensity of the staining. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful tutorials. Until next time, happy analyzing.